come from an island in the Carolina sand where I was broke down and built up and reborn a fight I was 35 years old. I'd been in the Marine Corps 17 plus years. I didn't know after giving almost a full career to the Marine Corps if I was even going to be able to stay in first. You know, I didn't uh, until a couple of young Marines from Walter Reed came over to Bethesda and showed me their cool leg. You know, I, I really didn't have a visualization of what it was going to be like. A serious uh, combat injury or any injury that we still have something to give either emotionally or physically or you know there's still support out there that we can provide and then you know a lot of the wounded warriors today mm -hmm. you know those kids are going to come home every day they need to know that hey there's life after their injury and so a lot of fear of the unknown and overcoming in that fear is basically just done through mentorship so there's there's multiple messages that will come from this you know the First one talking about the civilians. Second one, definitely letting those uh, wounded warriors that are coming back today know that you know life goes on and you'll be able to achieve great things. Still in the fight needs to be talked about. Letting people know that we still are capable of not only maintaining a career in the services after serious uh, war injuries, but that we also go back into society and become productive individuals. So that, that needs to be communicated. Okay. That life after injury is positive. Tonight.